Uh, hello YouTube, uh, I'm responding to a couple of emails. Hello, do you have, I do have some questions. I just want to understand things from a different point of view that the rest of America doesn't always hear. I mean by no means any harm to your family or or any Amish peoples. Recently in the news there was there has been talk about puppy mills. How do Amish view the souls of animals? How do you do the Amish treat their lifestyle? How do the Amish deal with murders, pedophiles, thieves, and porn? Um Okay, uh, puppy mills, now I've seen a video or two about that on YouTube, but other than that I haven't, uh, I haven't, uh, heard anything about, uh, puppy mills. Um, uh, now there are, down in Holmes County there is, a. Uh, uh, has been described as a multi-million dollar business of uh, raising puppies, but I'm not sure how they're how well they're treated. Uh, when we raised puppies, we we treated them good, and uh, and when we bought puppies, we were, they were treated uh, good too. And as far as we know, anyway, for the most part. Um, I mean, of course, there are exceptions to every rule, um, but uh, if a dog is being abused or animal, I would uh, say that's not that's not good. Uh, authorities should be notified of that. Um, how do Am Amish how do Amish uh, view the souls of animals? Uh, I don't think they. They uh, believe in animals having so a soul, but uh, they believe in humans having souls. Um, how do the Amish treat their livestock? Their livestock. No, of course, it's not everyone's the same, and. Some some are gonna be uh, bad to their animals, and others are gonna be good to them. Um, some are gonna some have killed their animals by by the way they've treated them. But of course, that's, that's I hope hopefully that's mo mostly the exception rather than the rule. Um, pedophiles, I'm not, I don't think that happens, well, I would, shouldn't say it doesn't happen, um, well, because I noted, for exa example, that, uh, one individual was, um, uh, he kept getting uh, uh, moved from the church for um, over a 40 year period and come back in good standing after his confessions and then he, he ended up going to prison for five years and he was put back in the church and everything um, so he, he got he got away lucky. I mean, you and I, we would, uh, if we would uh, be doing that stuff, we would not just get a shunning. We would uh, get uh, prison, and not just for five years either. Um, and uh, some cases where, where uh, Amish were actually being prosecuted, the, the pe 
people were actually the Amish people were actually going in and, and defending the perpetrator rather than the than the victim, which is not good. Um, anyway, uh, going on with uh, the story, um, sleeves. I think uh, sleeves are treated pretty much the same way as as if you were. Uh, drinking alcohol or anything, anything that is against their ordinance is um, treated equally uh, pretty much it's not it's not um, one one thing's not worse than the other in their in their uh, laws I don't think um, David Yoder, Amish Deception, made a video about that a while back. He dresses up as Amish. Uh, he he was Amish, but he dresses up uh, Amish to to um, get his point across. Um, anyway, um, and porn. Uh, that's. Um, that's also frowned upon. Um, uh, just thinking back of uh, something that my that my cousin sent uh, Playboy magazines to my brother's house when I was when we were still growing up, and uh, my mom found it, and of course she wasn't too happy about that, and. And uh, and uh, she canceled the subscription, but that's not something I I uh, I mean I was uh, I was probably twelve years old when and my brother was of course like four year four years older than me maybe I was a little older I can't remember but. But no, they don't. They don't uh, allow that uh, porn and stuff like that. So anyway, and uh, okay, I know that is a loaded question. I know every society views things differently on different levels. I do want to say I do enjoy seeing your family around when you when around you when watching your videos. Family is very important and unconditional love. The warmest wishes and love to your family. Thank you. Um, uh, it's a nice uh, email. Um, right now I'm uh, in my daughter's uh, bedroom because uh, uh, it has better background than, than my other my own bedroom uh, although it's kind of pink <laughs> we painted it uh, with uh, this uh, interesting color Maybe, uh, there's a tree right there and down here some flowers and stuff So we got we got it done uh, not so long ago, uh, and uh, I'm at the top bunk there, bunk bed. Um, okay, now the second email I got: um, What made you have the urge to quit being Amish? Um, I think it was. Uh, well, over time I was growing up, I I was not decided until I was like thirteen. It was when I decided that I was not gonna be staying Amish. Um, 
and that was when I was um, when my my uncle and and their um, uh, and the church people they decided that that we are supposed to move because of the fact that we had um, that we were living with my sister or my sister was house was right there next to ours and and they had started going to another church besides the, the Amish church or we were meeting in a in a in a in one of my cousin's houses for um, Bible study and stuff like that and uh, because of that my uncle decided that uh, he's going to to uh, have my parents move out of the house that they were living in and uh, move into another place um, and I didn't know about it until the day that they came to, to move us and when they when I realized just how how powerful these people are um, in making decisions for you like that I was like well there's no way I'm going to be sticking around when I chance I'm going to be going. I did a couple of days later then uh, and I was only 13 years old and I left for, and I was gone for three days. I then um, I then uh, had to come back because of course I couldn't have didn't have a job I mean, I was too young to get a job and Sec and then the second time I left was when I was 16. Um, I went to my left was my brother at my my mom's second cousin's house, and then uh, and then uh, I had to to go back home uh, about three months later, and. Um, And then uh, the last time I left was on a, just after I turned 18. I, in November will be 10 years that I've not been Amish anymore. So that this coming November, so been over nine years now. Well, I think this should uh, cover it for this uh, video. So talk to you guys later.